Hello Sagittarius, it is the Sun Sage and thank you guys so much for tuning in to your July reading where I am making some predictions and getting you some insight into the month of July for you. So this is for Sagittarius placements. This may also resonate with cross watchers of Sagittarius. All right, so let's see what's going on for you guys in the month of July. Take what resonates, leave what doesn't, apply the messages, how they resonate to your situation. Um, if you need something more personal and specific, check out the details in the description box for a personal reading. Sag, let's take a look at some main themes for you guys in the month of July. All right, let's see. Balance, all right. Soul connection. All right, and guarded, okay. Okay. Everybody's protecting their relationship is what it looks like. And you guys are doing the same. You may be keeping people out of your business, out of your relationship in the month of July. You could feel a strong urge to do that. Um, I also feel like a relationship is gaining more um, clarity and understanding. Two people are coming together in a soul connection. And I feel like this is a protected connection. Um, and it, what that can look like is that you're going through a lot or been through a lot in this relationship but it's still standing or it could look like this is a soul connection that's meant to be and so it's like strongly protected by the universe all right so let's take a look at balance for you sagittarius knight of cups yeah i was just about to say i feel like you just have someone here that just makes you feel really loved and so what i'm getting with this balance in the knight of cups is that is the case i feel like someone is making some type of offer to show you um how they feel about you you could be celebrating like an anniversary or something in um july so somebody's like um doing something special for you this knight of cups here could be a pisces pisces did get balance in the first position like you guys so you could be dealing with a pisces also scorpio cancer the devil somebody has intense romantic feelings for you that can cause this person to dream about you a lot fantasize about you um this person can come across as like needing you um emotionally obsessed but it feels somewhat pure somebody does have strong ro romantic desires though when it comes to you sag showing up with balance this person could be realizing um they want to kind of mature emotionally. They don't want to come across as like a little crush or somebody that's just infatuated or obsessed with you. They could want to grow up. Yeah, there's the King of Swords. I feel like somebody realized um, they could even be realizing when they got with you, um, it was about a strong attraction. And now things are like growing and things are like more serious. And so it's time for them to grow up. But there's a lot, of, a lot of like flirty, playful energy between you and someone. You, you and this person could ju could just get each other. Capricorn here, yeah, Princess of Wands. That could be your energy. Also, Leo, Aries. I feel like you and somebody just get along really well. There's a lot of flirtation, a lot of romantic ideas coming across. You, sh you could be doing a lot of date nights or a lot of fun activities with this romantic um, person in the month of July. Um, Three of Pentacles, you guys could be double dating. It's just like a lot of fun ideas um, surfacing in a relationship is what it looks like. Somebody really wants to spend a lot of time with you. Somebody enjoys you. They enjoy your sense of humor, your conversation, what you bring to the table. Okay. The Nine of Swords here in the reverse. This person is facing their fears about you. I do feel like when you met this person, Sag, there was something about them being like just obsessed with you and now this person is like realizing they want something more serious they're being fearless in this in this energy there's the nine of wands yeah this is someone who feels like you're special and they want to protect this relationship they have with you king of pentacles they want to grow up you're making this person grow up. King of Pentacles here. This person could be offering a lot more in the month of July with the King of Pentacles. They could be talking more serious talk 
or grown up talk about like marriage commitment, five of wands. This person um, could see some obstacles and they're not afraid to go through them with you. This is even someone who could be discussing marriage or who could be finally like seeing that they want to marry you, whether they reveal it or not. The four of wands could feel like also you spend a lot of time with this person in their home or they could want to move in with you. This king of pentacles with the five of wands feels like this person is competing for your heart or um, showing up for you, letting you know no one competes. No one can compete with them, you know, the high priestess. Yeah, I feel like this person... Um, They've been in some sort of like conflict or been having challenges following and trusting their intuition. Something about connecting to you, though, remember, is bringing them balance. It is helping them fight through any obstacles they had trusting. This person could have definitely had trust issues, but with you, you're making them open up, face their fears. You're making them really see that this is a soul connection that they don't want to miss out on is what I'm getting. You have a Virgo here, Capricorn, Taurus. Again, Pisces. <laughs> um, so Tower, Magician, and the Knight of Swords. Yeah, there's a breakthrough. Um, somebody's having a breakthrough. It could be you, Saj, or this person, or both of you, that um, this is the relationship or the love that someone has manifested. Like somebody feels like they put in a lot of work. They've been through a lot of stuff. And now is really the time for them to seize the moment in a relationship. Somebody's definitely definitely not missing an opportunity with you. All right. Some type of... um tower moment in a connection also for those of you who have been with this person you know for a while it, it could have made this connection stronger it could have um, made this connection a lot more um, between you and this person it could have made your communication between each other a lot better so this could just enter a new time in a relationship a better time yeah two of cups don't be surprised if you're dealing with somebody that all of a sudden wants to get married, that all of a sudden wants to commit, that all of a sudden wants to move in. Whatever level of commitment, right, it feels like uh, is the next level for your relationship. This person is capable of doing it. Um, Knight of Pentacles. It's like they want to go slow. They are showing you that they're serious. But this person is ready to also like uh, invest is what I'm getting with the two of cups. This is someone who has mutual feelings of love. The same, they feel the same way about this relationship that you do, and they're ready to invest in in a more um. I was about to say strategic, but I think I wanted to say um serious way. But they could be, they could have like moved very strategically. You know, um, there could have been times where you were like, "Is this person even serious?" And they were just moving in a way where um. You know, it wasn't known to you, but that they always wanted this. So two of cups, temperance. This is definitely about a relationship balancing out, finding peace and healing. OK, um, I feel like a, a relationship could also be getting the passion back. You and somebody make a good couple. There's a relationship coming back after heartache or some third party drama in July. You guys are getting back together for a swords. Yeah, there's peace. There's a lot of peace in a relationship. All right, Sag. This is what you wanted. This is what you prayed for and manifested for a relationship to be on better terms or to find somebody who was mature and loving and willing to invest. This is exactly what's coming in your wish fulfillment, you're getting the peace that you desired, you're getting the strong connection. This this definitely feels like it's after some sort of like hurt and pain you dealt with in this relationship. Three of swords energy here. Mm -hmm. Three of wands. So a relationship is expanding, okay? That can mean somebody's like pregnant. That could mean somebody is um moving forward like in a serious way, the next level here. But um, I do feel like some 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 time apart or a separation has actually made two people closer, has actually made two people come together in a stronger way. And um, the star with the three of wands feels like wishes are coming true in July, specifically in your love life and a soul connection. But there's more wishes to come true. There's more wishes coming in. There's more wish fulfillment. 
somebody is also very protective of their partner. Okay. It does feel strongly like a masculine energy, but there's a lot of protection over this relationship in the physical and the spiritual. So guarded. Okay. Sun. Yeah. I feel like you're protecting your happiness. If that means I don't talk about my relationship problems with friends anymore, that's what it is. If that means your person is going, I can't, you know, um, bring my family into our connection. That's what it is. There's a relationship that's going through happier times because it's, it's more protected. It's more guarded. It's not so open. Five of swords, right. Doing what you have to do. So this is a strong, like I'm protecting my peace, doing what I have to do to protect my, um, my, my happiness. This is defending yourself and your relationship, but this is also just like an energy of the sun and five of wands, um, doing whatever it takes to be happy. Okay. Pulling out all the stops to make sure um, your happiness is uh, prioritized. Seven of Cups here. You so there. You could also be guarded against like energies that are. Um, yeah, Five of Swords, Seven of Cups. People trying to like confuse you or confuse your person within this relationship dynamic or just in general. Um, you could pick up that there are people who. Um, are confused themselves, don't know what they want, trying to um, pour negativity into your connection, trying to project. Eight of Wands. Yeah, there's something about also protecting your online um, information, but your on your relationship online. Not disclosing everything you and your person do. Keeping people confused. Eight of Wands, Eight of Swords. Yeah, I feel like you could also be confusing people to keep this relationship protected. Um, the Eight of Wands and the Eight of Swords feels like confusing people. <laughs> it feels like, you know, intentionally putting out information or making things seem a certain way in order to throw people off. Queen of Wands, that's you. Also Aries, Leo energy. But yeah, I feel like you are also overcoming some sort of like attempt to disrupt your happiness in July. Somebody's either trying to confuse you, mess with your head, and I feel like you overcome that. You're unfazed by it. All right. A lot of you may face some type of like insecurities about your looks or your um, image in July. Seven of Pentacles, you may invest in a new wardrobe or a new hairstyle or something new for yourself. Even if you have a partner that loves you the way that you are, some of you could feel like it's time for an upgrade. It's time for me to like really get fancy. So you are going to be looking really good in July, but you could feel like conflicted about how to improve your look or how to do something for yourself but you will do something for yourself seven of pentacles with the queen of pentacles feels a lot like you guys are um treating yourself to something spoiling yourself you could be growing a garden or you could just be like nourishing and uh, self-care taking care of yourself a lot better this also feels a lot like good health so you could be getting good health news there could be good health for someone around you as well um virgo capricorn taurus energy it feels like you guys are um if there's any like worry or concern about something it does feel like you get like good news about it some type of obstacle is overcome for sure this is also financial success and abundance something you've invested in something you've been working on it pays off it really does um bring in the the money the wealth the the longevity that you've been wanting so you made a good investment that feels like money wise and in your relationship it looks like you've made a good investment yeah, that's what I'm getting. And, and you're in, and four of pentacles. You're, you're very, you're securing it. Four of pentacles feels like you're not like telling a lot of people how you did it. Um, how it, you know, how you're holding on to it because you realize outside energy can ruin things. So you're, you're maintaining some success in your life here. 
when it pertains to like a relationship, a soul connection and your um, financial abundance. OK, so Sagittarius, that is what I have for you guys. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to hit that like, subscribe. Let me know what you think. And if you are interested in booking a personal reading with me, check out the details in the description box.